Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video and welcome to my crazy child that starts acting crazy as soon as the camera comes on. Yeah. <laughs> so today we are going to be doing a makeup and mystery and we are going to be talking about the death of Tupac and a little bit of Big E. I kind of want to more focus on Tupac because I know a lot more about the Tupac murder. Um, so that's where I really want to focus today. And I have a ton of videos to film, so I'm hoping we can get through this quickly. So I think it's not really doubted that Tupac and Big E are some of the best rappers that will have ever lived and will ever live. I think that Big E and Tupac's um, feud is very, very well known, probably as well known as the East Coast West Coast rivalry rivalries which is like was like different gangs back then because like Tupac was part of the one gang and then Biggie was part of the other gang and they were like rivals and there's a lot of craziness that was going down like I mean the night that Tupac actually was murdered he actually had gotten into a fight with a member of Big E's crew or whatever I think his name was Andrew or something hours before he was murdered which is suspicious but I mean, but what I really want to talk about is a lot of people at the time that this happened, and I think people still do associate Tupac's death with kind of like a gang kind of thing. Like, okay, he was murdered by his the opposing gang, the East Coast West Coast stuff, and I actually don't think that that is true. So I don't think that that is actually true. I think that um, maybe like the LAPD, because this did happen in LA, kind of, I don't know, I feel like they had it out for the two rappers, for Biggie and Tupac, because of like their histories. Can I just be honest? Musicians get blamed for a lot of shit. And I would not put it past somebody on the LAPD to maybe have a child or a wife or something like that. And it has something to do with something happened. Maybe their child is listening to this music and they want to make it stop. Or, like, maybe like, their wife's listening to it or something. Maybe their child's going down the dark path of rap. I mean, it was a darker path. Because at this time, rap was really associated with drugs. So, I really would not put it past the police, like, somebody on the police force to kind of, like, do something like that. We actually have evidence of police obviously being shady. I mean, not, like, in this case, yes, but I'm talking more or less about, like, we have, like, actual shoddy police work with, like, it's proven that police, there are some police out there that go out against people of color, and Tupac and Biggie were obviously people's, two people of color, two very notoriously famous people of color, so... I really would not put it past the police, like somebody on the police force to have kind of something against these two rappers. And that is what ended up like with their deaths. I don't, I feel like since Tupac was first, Tupac was probably the original like goal. But with all the hype and everything that was going around with the death and stuff like that, that is why I think Big E was taken out because of the fact that, you know, it was very public that Tupac and Big E's little, like, rivalry with their, like, record labels or whatever. So, I think that the police honestly took advantage of that. Like, somebody in the police force, I think, took advantage of it. I do 110,000% believe that somebody in the police force is the one that killed Tupac and Big E, and I think Big E was killed just to kind of, like, put more suspicion on the like east coast west coast kind of thing because big e i think was killed like nine months after tupac my question is is why would a gang wait nine months to take to enact their revenge wouldn't they like go like right for it not really caring and tupac was one of the 
biggest rappers in the world. I do think Big E was a big, um, a big Big E Smalls was a big rapper, but I actually think that Tupac was more of a bigger like rapper at the time. Like he was more successful. Um, because when you hear about this, you don't hear about Big E. You hear about Tupac. I remember um, when I was with Brandon and Anna, we went to Carowinds one for like a weekend. We went to Carowinds. And we drove, because of where we lived, we just drove up there. Because it was like a three or four hour drive. I can't really remember. But because of where we lived, we just drove up to Carowinds. This is before I had Kai. This is before I was pregnant with Kai. And I remember on the way there, we actually listened to a Biggie Smalls um, song. So... I have listened to the music. Rap is just not my forte, I guess you could say. Rap is for my brothers. I'll have to actually ask Corey, because he does listen to more rap music than I do. I don't really listen to rap music. I'm more into, like, classic rock, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like Red Hot Chili Peppers, Creed, and that's more my forte. Rap is more Corey's. You know, I know Snoop Dogg. My dad actually thinks Snoop Dogg is hilarious fun fact so i guess i'm curious as to like what you guys think you know it's been so many years and so much stuff has happened with the police force in different areas i mean we do have like we do have evidence of police actually going after people of color so I guess, like, the question is, what do y'all think? So, yeah, I'm just curious what y'all think, because we have, you know, evidence by, but not evidence, kind of, like, supporting it and not supporting it, so I kind of, like, want to know what you guys think. I think that it is important to note that Suge Knight, who I believe was the producer for Death Row Records, which was... Tupac's area. Um, he got arrested for involuntary manslaughter. I'm about to film a two looks one palette with this later today, so I'm keeping that out. But he got arrested for involuntary manslaughter. Um, I don't think it had anything to do with Tupac. I could be wrong, but I don't think that it had to do with Tupac. I think it was something else completely for why he was arrested, but again, I could be wrong. If I am, correct me down below. Only want to give out correct information, and I didn't have as much time as I would have liked to research this case. It's hard to be a single mom and film YouTube videos, but I get it done. So, um, in conclusion, I do think that this had something to do with the police. But I am curious as to what you guys think. I think that there is enough evidence to state that the police had something to do with it. But there is also enough evidence to prove me wrong and state that this was like a gang turf war kind of thing between, you know, the East Coast and the West Coast rappers. But like I said, I don't really think that... I feel kind of bad, but... I always knew about the unsolved murder of... Tupac Shakur, Shakur. I didn't really learn about Biggie Smalls until later. But I mean, I always knew about Tupac Shakur being murdered. I don't mean that in any disrespectful way. It could be just how I was raised and how I grew up, to be completely honest. Like, we didn't listen to rap music growing up, so that could completely be it. I mean, we listened to classic rock. We listened to Creed, which is my favorite band. I love Creed, and it is shown in the fact that that is who I listened to growing up, because that's who my parents were fans of. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers. My mom and I still listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers to this day together. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Um, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm just trying to think, you guys. I just asked him to stop picking up my makeup brushes and throwing them, and he literally 
goes in right back to him. I guess Jackson wanted to go to sleep because I put him in his room and he is now <laughs> extremely quiet. Um, so I guess he wanted to go to sleep, poor baby. I mean, he, poor kid gets woken up every fucking morning by Kai. He, like, literally, like, I'm getting stuff ready for Kai after Kai's done eating breakfast because he has to get his diaper changed again because typically he ends up shitting after he eats his food, which I don't know why. Um, so I was, I was getting everything ready and I always look over to where Jackson's asleep in his swing and fucking Kai is leaning right over him, always giving him a kiss. I don't understand why. I've used every single blush in here. There is seven blushes and one highlight. I have not used the highlight yet. I might use it soon. I'm going to use Chateau Rose today because I have a few um, videos to film today. So I want a kind of more like lighter blush, I guess you could say, to go with the mix I'm going to be doing. Because I'm doing two looks, one palettes today. Which is a very hard video to film. I have 34 palettes, and I think I've made it through five or six. So this is a tough video thing to film, so I hope you guys like this series. But anyways, back onto it. Um, I don't think that the murder of Tupac took her and Biggie Smalls also will ever be solved because of the fact that police are involved. I believe that. I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think happened? Uh, do you think it'll ever get solved? Just let me know down below. Because I do think that this is an intriguing case, and I do think that it has a lot to do with race, and that is so horrible and sad, but that is true. That is how I feel personally about this case, that has a lot to do with race and lifestyle also. <laughs> Because Tupac and Big E both had that similar lifestyle. But they both had that similar lifestyle where it was like they rapped, dr they were rapping about violence and drugs and stuff like that. So they had a similar lifestyle and they portrayed it. I honestly, personally, am on the side of I think that it was set up by a police officer whose son was getting into Tupac's music. I think Tupac, again, was the original, vi like, target. Um, so I think that this police officer's son was getting into Tupac's music, and they didn't like this, and they created this whole, like, whole scenario, and they played off of the East Coast, West Coast kind of thing. And then, months later, when it was kind of like, the theory was being thrown around that it was the police and it was corrupt, that is when Big E Smalls was murdered by the same people who set it up because they had to make it look like it was the East Coast versus the West Coast. And they definitely did, but people are smart. You know, I like to think that humans aren't stupid. We do stupid things, but I mean, we aren't stupid. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, all that social media great stuff, and it really helps my channel out. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Bye, guys! Bye!